Alright, alright. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So, you probably haven't heard that much of me during the last year, that was for various reasons. But most of all, like, the stuff I'm working on is mostly protected by NDAs and such. Today is something different, I guess, because right now I want to present to you something we have been working on for the last couple of years, actually. And while this is being a very short video, I guess, um, it's one of the most, where I'm the most proud of. So hear me out, maybe we'll play an intro right now or something. I don't know. Today, we're going to talk about the Peace Yokel. Cutting to the chase, this is a handheld CBD cannabis extruder. So, and I guess, this is going to be a pretty much a controversial topic and I hope it will be because it might fuse a discussion and I'm pretty happy to hear all, your, all of your thoughts about this. So basically this project started like four years ago, just an idea at the bar. The challenge really like tickled me. Someday we just did a very rough prototype and it somewhat like kicked off an avalanche. I've learned so much during this project in terms of setbacks and different approaches to methodological processes. I've basically built this product entirely in this workshop. It is all made of stainless steel to the highest quality. On top of that, most of the stuff is actually 3D printed. I think in today's consumer market, it is a real pain to produce ecologically and locally. I don't think that we're like developing in a in a good direction manufacturing wise so this is my real first attempt at a consumer market based product and i set myself the goal to have it basically built in an area just around my workshop of a few hundred kilometers i source all the raw materials from here i do like have all my neighbors set up for various parts i know where the screws are bought I know everything about it. Of course, that will resolve in different pricing than all the stuff you get from, from like Asia. And I'm using this as a stereotype right now, but I set myself the goal to do it differently than all the others. And if this does not succeed, well then maybe the consumer market isn't for me. I think there is so much to explore during this project, which would make a worthwhile video series. We could go over the methodological processes, uh, how to develop something, how to avoid failures, so much about manufacturing all these things to crazy tolerances. There are tolerances of plus minus five microns in here. We could go about things like should you get a patent or not? How do you develop a marketing strategy? Put down in the comments whatever you want to hear on this series. Also, you could do me a huge favor. You know, I've never been asking for favors of any sort and you probably have never seen an ad on one of my videos. Maybe lately, but that was just because I was checking out some things about the YouTube algorithm. Down in the video description, there will be a link to the second channel I opened about this product. And uh, there will be four videos in four different languages. Pick one which fits best for you. Watch it the full length. It's only a it's sub uh, two minutes video. Hit either the sound thumbs up or down, both is okay. And maybe type in a comment what you think about all of this. And yeah, that would probably help the algorithm. Man, these couple last weeks were really rough. <laughs> it's so much to do when you gotta release a, a product. I hope I can talk to you about all of that. And while we're on the subject, for a really quick heads up that's part that's actually just a part of all the prototyping that went into this actual product this is some of the main bodies these are the keys the like we had like six or eight versions cut in uh, stainless steel there are just handles handles everywhere someday we'll take just a whole video just on this freaking bucket here it's basically all the route I've been going through to actually develop this product. And as you can see, there's a lot of electronics in here. Right now, this is a purely analog gadget. I guess it's perfect where it's at. It's the simplest sol solution I've found. 
I don't know how long this video will, uh, there's, as you can see, there's no script behind it. It's 19th of May, tomorrow is release day on 420. <laughs> Thank you for watching. Post everything in the comments you want to know about this subject. I'll try to cover it up. So thank you. Bye.